Janice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, this work. It's absolutely amazing. I just love how she's taking these, using all these materials like bronze, which is like a rich mm -hmm. black color, to like represent like black skin, and she's combining it with like this imagined aquatic world, you know, like based on like the Middle Passage and everything that went on with that, mm -hmm. to create something like really beautiful where black people are at the center. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you don't really see black people being the center of narratives like this in the art world. And she's making it in a way that it looks gorgeous yet uncanny mm -hmm. and kind of morbid at the same time, but it's in a good way where it arrests you. Yes. I don't know, it's just really amazing. And I just, I've seen her work, like I researched it, and then I get like text about it, mm -hmm. and seeing it in person is just like a whole new ball game. The reflections, like the intricacy, like the texture, the scale. Like, oh my god, and this is gargantuan. I mean, it fills an entire room up, down. It's really only one museum for this in all of Manhattan, and this is the one. <laughs> like, for real. The new museum is perfect for that. But what you were just saying is so profound, so... Well, first, will you tell us the artist's name? I'm get you new too. Mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure, like, the origin. I'll get you new too. Intertwine. I like the way you say it, like <laughs> with the twist. Like, get you moon tune. <laughs> yeah. She's like multi talented. Like, she does painting, yeah. collage, sculpture, like everything. Absolutely. Like the whole package. <laughs> it's very nice to be able to have an artist who does it all, that's for sure. These. Absolutely. These ones, I mean, I find really beautiful, like the raw materials and the natural materials that she uses. Yeah. I mean, I have a lot of respect for the ones that are like creepy cute. <laughs> I do, um, the, like bizarre stuff, you know, but yeah. I'm like always gonna be drawn towards something that's just like inherently beautiful. At least some of these are really just like remarkably done. The connection with like nature mm -hmm. and like humans or individuals just and how they're interwoven together yeah. to create such a species. Like, how does she come up with this stuff in her mind? Well, that's one thing I'd be really curious to actually know because like you said, you said like imagined worlds, but when you, but then you went right into talking about the middle passage. So it's like, how imagined is that? You know, like obviously, don't get me wrong. There's obviously a huge amount of imagination in this, mm -hmm. but I think a lot of the times with work like this, that is so original that has perspectives we haven't seen before like this this right here even like this video that we're watching like this is Absolutely. more to me like a remembering of something than even an imagination yeah. because this is an experience <laughs> that the artists lived in order to be able to actually create and recreate and replicate that for us to experience it. So whether they actually physically did this or not, mm -hmm. there is a part of their spirit that very much experienced that, even if it was just in the knowing, Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. So to me, that's really profound. And you're right. We don't see the, I like that you chose the word. We don't see those narratives around black people that much in the art world yeah. because we, when we do see like typically in at least art institutions, black art depicted, it's usually around pain and suffering yeah. or nonfiction that is also about pain and suffering yeah. but to be able to honor the creativity behind like tapping into like you said like basically an entire hybrid human species that is also part of history because of like the deeper we tap into like other realms and things like that like that's just part of history it's just not on this plane yeah so she's trying like history is like you know making something good like something beautiful mm -hmm. right? and also infusing like the pain and the suffering and like just talking about it but like she's not it's not in a I don't know how to describe it I 
intense. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I don't know, negative. It's just, she's taking it and feel, like, enjoying the beauty of it yeah. to these species that she's creating. Because there's beauty in, like, the black struggle and the experience. Because without all that struggle, we wouldn't be where we are today. Mm -hmm. And it needs to be talked about, it needs to be shown on it. And I feel like if it was shown any other type of way, it would be a different feel. Mm -hmm. And I feel like to grab people's attention, to bring their attention towards like the issues, I feel like visually showing it in a beautiful and arresting way like yeah. this is like the best way to do it. And she does it like so seamlessly. <laughs> If there was one thing that everyone in the world woke up one day and just knew, what would you want that one thing to be? That's a, that's a tough question. Um, that we're all different. That we're all unique. We have our own cultures. We have our own backgrounds, our own history. But we're all part of the same world. Mm -hmm. We all live here. We all have our own energy. But we're connected by you know this shared sense of you know being human and also <laughs> yes. being human and being <laughs> united by our differences. We should be united by our differences because that's what makes us like yeah. a whole community of like seven billion people on this earth. Mm -hmm. And like if we focus on our differences in a negative way, like we're just being separated from like, and then yeah. continue repeating history over and over again, and it will never end. But if we like look at these differences as positive and like come together to like make things like this, like hybrid species, like what there was like more like species like this, like interacting with one another, like from different cultures. And different things like interacting with one another to create this different parallel universe of our world. Like, that would be amazing. <laughs> like, I just know. I feel like art is like the best way to express that, yeah. and the best way for like because I see like a whole bunch of people in here like from different cultures, and I feel like we're unified, mm -hmm. are united looking at this art mm -hmm. based on like African Americans, and I don't know. I just feel like. Creativity is like the best like sphere to unite people. Yeah, I heard someone say yesterday to me she was reading the um, oracle cards, so similar to ancient Egyptian tarot, but an like oracle instead of the major and minor arcana. Yeah. And she said, she whispered it under her breath before she pulled the cards, but it really resonated with me. She said, before there was language and before there was before there was words and language, there were symbols. Actually, hold this quick, but I want to pull out what she literally said because it was so profound. She said, Before there was time, before there was language, there were sacred symbols. And that and then when you think about what is a sacred symbol, that's all that art is. Yeah. Like, it's just a sacred symbol. So, it's the most ancient form of communication. It's a really powerful stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like the that art is like a sacred symbol, it's like a symbol of things. I feel like If you liked any of what you saw today, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And remember, art truly does heal Earth.